Hi, my name is Stephanie Towery and I'm a librarian at Texas State University and this is a video about copyright. Just the basics, what it is, what it isn't. So, copyright is a set of rights that a person who creates a work has in that work from the time that the work is created. Um, and those rights are the right to copy it, the right to distribute it, the right to display it, the right to perform it, the right to uh, modify it, make um, new works from it. And I have, if I created something, I have those rights um, and nobody else does. And so that's why they're called exclusive rights. So I can exclude other people from doing these things without asking me permission or uh, getting a license from me. So, the reason we have that is um, to encourage people to make new things and to make new works. And copyright will last for um, a limited time and that's supposed to encourage me to make new things. So in our country, um, copyright lasts for a very long time. It lasts for the life of the creator plus 70 years. Um, that's not true of all countries and there's some variations on that, but that's the basics. There are some things that aren't protected at all by copyright. So some things can't be copyrighted, like words, short phrases, um, simple processes, like recipes, ideas themselves, by themselves. Like if I have the idea um, for a movie, if it's basic, just the basic idea, that can't be protected by copyright. Um, and then there's some things that are in what's called the public domain. So at the end of this period that of protection that I have, life uh, plus 70 years, um, everything that I make will fall into the public domain, which means that now anybody can copy or distribute or display my work. So it's in the public domain. Some things are in the public domain from the time that they're created. So um, things like the text of laws are in the public domain from the time they're created. And then some things are in the public domain because of who made them. So everything in our country, everything that the federal government creates is in the public domain. It's not true of all countries, it's not true of all governments. Um, and there's some other ways that things can be in the public domain, but that's the basic idea. Um, in order to protect, for something to be protected by copyright, you don't really have to do anything. From the time that you fix it in what's called a tangible form, it's protected. So this video, because I'm recording it, this, this speech of mine, uh, from because I'm recording it, is, is protected by copyright. I don't have to register it with the government. Um, I can, and that will give me some extra advantages, but I don't have to. It's, it's protected from the time that I fix it in this video. Um, copyright is a little bit different from um, some of the other intellectual property rights like trademark, um, patent, trade secrets, trade dress. Um, patent protects processes and methods of doing things for, um, and it can be, in that case, um, uh, to get protection for a patent you have to file a patent. Um, Patents aren't protected from the time that they're created, the idea is created, so it's a little bit different. And um, you have a little bit more leeway as to patents can protect an idea as long as it's it's not just a simple idea, it's more of a process or a method. Um, it's protected for a, a shorter period of time and um, there's some other um, things you have to do. For a trademark, trademark isn't limited by time. It's a little bit different. Um, things can be both copyrighted and trademark, and protected by trademark, and or things can be only protected by copyright and not protected by trademark, and vice versa. So it's just a different idea. Trademark covers um, can cover short words and phrases and images, and what how that works is it protects those things as long as they're used to promote um, or sell a product or a service. So it's a little bit different. Um, and then there's trade dress and trade secrets which are um, different. I won't go into that. So what else about copyright? So 
Another thing you should know about copyright is that there are some exceptions to it that we have by law, um, and those exceptions can really help because they mean that you can use somebody's copyrighted work without asking permission or without paying for a license from them. And um, there's a variety of exceptions. One of the, the most important ones is called um, fair use. And some people refer to it as a right rather than an exception. Um, and that just means that you can use someone's copyrighted work without asking permission or getting a license in certain circumstances. You have to, um, there's four factors of fair use and you have to weigh all the factors against one another. Um, uh, but generally, um, it's this idea that in certain circumstances, you um, have the right to use other people's work um, because there's a, um, a benefit to everyone for having that right to fair use. And one example would be that you have the right to comment or criticize someone's work um, and that you can include um, short uh, bits of it um, to help um, do that. So. That's just one example. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to talk about, wanted to say about copyright. Oh, I don't know if I explained this, but the reason that we have it, the reason that we have these exclusive rights for a certain period of time is to encourage people to make new works. So it's the idea is that the trade-off is we are going to protect that work um, so that you will get something from that um, you can sell, you know, copies of your novel. Um, and nobody else can do that, um, so that it's supposed to encourage you to do it. Um, that's the idea, at least. I think that's everything. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to be making more of these videos, so um, please watch for more. And thank you very much.